Hey, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video is how to install the dash cam with the mirror power adapter. Folks, so this product is made by Dangars, a 10 pin Type B for selected Toyota and Lexus vehicles. So I think that Tacoma and some other vehicles may differ. So you could check their website. This one's made by Dangar. There's another brand that makes a similar product. And it's very easy to use. So it takes the power from your uh, rain sensor or rear view mirror and splits it. That's all it is. Then you steal power from there to power your dash cam. That's all it is. And it's not hard to install, but actually removing the cover and installing it could be a little challenge. So if you're not up to the task on this particular job, you probably want to talk to an independent mechanic that would do it. I'm not sure a lot of the dealers and such would do this for you. So dash cams are getting more uh, readily available and cheaper, and it's a good idea to have one as well. So this is the splitter. You notice that uh, there's an input and output, and also the USB connects to the, the end of the, the, the black piece over there. So, And they give you two USBs, so everything you need is there. So you just need to check which USB works with your dash cam before starting. So you, you know you don't have to figure out later on, you have to change it if you didn't do it right. So that's the thing that you need to do as homework before you get started in this particular task. So once you, this is filmed on the RX by the way, you push the cover over here on the top and the part release and actually lower the mirror, fold the mirror down and you slide the cover down. So easier said, cause my mirror, the cover just dropped. Luckily, nothing got damaged. Once the covers are off, you notice there's two connectors. There's one on the left and there's one on the right. So in this case, you probably want to take power from the rain sensor. That's the one on the right. So notice that the one on the right, uh, there's some quite a bit of working room. One thing to note, and I do want to emphasize this part, and probably will talk about it a little bit more, is be very careful with the tabs on these connectors. And uh, unfortunately, I did break the connector on one of my other vehicle, but it really wasn't that bad. I didn't break the whole thing. So when you use it, if you're gonna use a screwdriver or flathead screwdriver, just be really gentle with it. Cause you don't over press it and that'll break. So if it breaks, yeah, it could be a big trouble and very expensive. We got the connector off over here, you can see. So so you got the, the orientation is this direction. Notice the tab over here, you gotta be really careful pressing it. So you don't wanna break the tab. And uh, if you break it, there'll be a lot of problems later on The things may not work correctly. So next thing you'll do is get your splitter. Right? It's basically a power splitter. And you want to feed it into this right here in this orientation. Notice the clip. So it's going to go in. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to pick the camera down. And this other end, you notice that plugs into this little receptacle. receptacle right? So once you plug it in, you didn't lose functionality on the rain sensor, but you actually gain more power that you can use for your dash cam. Simple as that. All right, so once you got that all set up, of course you wanna also set up your dash cam and plug it in and test it. Once that's all done, um, all you need to do is put it back in. So that's a little challenge, uh, especially on the RX and some vehicles, the space is kind of tight, but the RX is not that bad. Notice that it's all tight and plugged in. I've got my USB cable right here and it plugs into this end over here. So what you want to do is actually test everything, make sure everything works and uh, it powers on, it powers off. The only thing negative about this whole thing is you power your vehicle off, everything goes off, including the dash cam. So if you want it to power on all the time, you still have to hardwire all the way to your fuse box and probably do a wire tap. Uh, I recommend if you're not into that thing, you probably want to talk to a mechanic that's an expert in that area. So. You don't just want to keep on wiretapping something that could be critical, right? Before you put the wires back and tuck everything back together, make sure all the wires are all connected well. At the same time, they're not bent or you're going to have a kink or anything down there, or you won't get damaged at the same time. So one of the things about this thing is the, the cover, uh, the clips, you know, have to be oriented correctly, especially on this Lexus RX. And, um, if you're not wearing it correctly, the cover may fall off. So that's the thing. It took me about five to 10 minutes to put it back on and had better view from the 
the passenger side. So once the main cover is back on, you want to tuck this cable in the middle. Luckily, the RX had a lot of room in the middle, so that's a really good thing. So I just tucked it in like this over here. And the wire for that bench, I probably want to put it under the headliner a little bit more. So it looks a lot better. Then after that, then we can just put the cover back on. So you notice that everything still works. You can test it again if you like. And this is the cover, the orientation you want to be at. So notice that lastly, I'm going to put the cover back on over here. It's just like that. Position it like that and press. Just like that. And it uh, goes back in. Everything should be tidy. So notice the cover shouldn't fall off. You want to adjust your rear view mirror uh, to the position that fits you best. right? So I have a Resin dash cam. And it's a great dash cam as well. I have another dash cam. A uh, number of them. I'm not sure I'm going to do a video on these or not. Uh, but uh, you know, if you're interested, post a comment below if you think I should post a video on the Rexin and also have a Wi-Fi, wi that's what it's called, I guess, right? So make sure everything's tight, and you want to tuck the the wire, you know, the power wire under the headline a little bit more too. So that makes it look more neat and more professional looking. Uh, the advantage of doing the power adapter on, and the rear view mirror is. You know, it's able to install. The disadvantage is when you power your vehicle off, um, this thing, the dash cam also goes off. So if you want a professional to install it, you probably want to run it the hardware around the, the front windshield and going down to the, the fuse box and wiretap a fuse that is always on, for example, right? So that's the only way to have continuous recording. But the uh, this way doesn't offer to continuous recording until your vehicle is turned on. So that's something to note if uh, you decided to go with uh, the dash cam power through the rear view mirror. And in this case, we're just using the the rain sensor and the rain sensor still works fine. It's just like, you know, we split in the power. And I'm going to show you external view at the same time. And Really appreciate a thumbs up so that people see this video. If you have a comment below to help others, please post it below. If you have any feedback or questions, please post it below as well too. And I see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.